Okay, I'm going to try my best to see if I can capture this on the camera here. So while trying to map out all the pins on my iMac G3, which I just found out is a 500 megahertz model, um, you know, I said, well, instead of trying to implement some sort of circuit, you know, to power the Arduinos or whatever else I want to put on there, why couldn't I use this board, um, which is not a full power supply, you know, in the um, regular sense. It's sort of like a conversion board. In fact, it's called a conversion board, and some people have called it a PAV board. I don't know what that stands for. Um, anyways, um, so I searched and searched and searched, you know, for the pinout over here. And, you know, I sort of had an idea what to do, but I wanted to confirm it before I did anything because I did not want to fry it or the analog board on the iMac here. So then I came across this page by this guy named Eric Bailena. I can't believe, Bailenga, I think. I can't believe I've missed this page, but he nicely has, you know, the pinouts. Uh, for that PAV board, uh, or are actually the one it mates to, because this page is about using the logic board um, in another case. So I think he calls it, you know, iMac G3 on an ATX. Anyways, this was invaluable, and I was, using that, I was able to figure out, although it does say, you know, AC there, but I wasn't sure what the voltage was or where it plugged into that you can just plug this straight into this connector here and it's uh, according to what I read it's dual phase or two phase 24 volt AC I don't know why they're using AC possibly because uh, these are transmission lines to reduce the loss I don't know and then it goes in here and gets converted now I'm gonna try and capture this with one hand so I've wired it so I can make the measurements with one hand so here there should be 5 volts and and there isn't, I guess it turned off oh, let me plug this in I think it died there we go, 5 volts ground, ground and we get 12 volts now if we look at this thing here, I can measure, let me try to do it here, it's going to be kind of tough. So I get 3.3 .3 volts on 2, 4 is, oh sorry, 3.3, .3, 12 volts on, yeah 2, it should be 5 volts on 4, and 5 volts again on 6, and ground and ground and 3.3 .3 volts all the way 18 8, 10, 12 16, uh, that's 18 and this should be 12 volts for it says for sound I guess the sound board on there then ground and then another 5 volts well basically now we have you know all the power we need to power things like an Arduino possibly a Raspberry Pi now who knows maybe even like you know a mini ITX board or something so I think it's neat that um, we could use this board to power other things and it'd be a good idea to recycle I mean it fits right in there and uh, you don't have to buy it if you have it um, so I'm excited about this and I can't wait to figure out how to integrate it so cool